because you can get the water heater could, could go out. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't offer a water heater, they found out you were in the house or whatever, you can be sued oh, yeah. for, well, for the damage or whatever. <laughs> right. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 424th episode of Potty Talking. Hey, I've been looking forward to this episode here. Mm-hmm. You know, I like seeing it when we have them lined up or whatever. When mm-hmm. I saw this one, mm-hmm. you know, the, the title of today's episode is Five Tried and Tested Side Hustles mm-hmm. for Your Plumbing Business. Okay. And that's just kind of fun, side hustle. Side hustle. You know, working side. So we're going to talk about uh, you know, side hustles. And I'm going to tell you, you know, really kind of define that a little bit as well. Okay. Because we, we can go off in all different kinds of directions. So I'm not talking about going off in all kinds of different directions or whatever. Right. But what are some, you know, some, some things you can do to make more money? With your plumbing business. Got it. Okay. Or even okay. this works, you know, home service business. Home service business. Okay. Right. With us, we're talking you know, with plumbing. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, but if you, you're here, mm-hmm. you know, if you're, what we're going to be talking about here today, as well as, you know, if, if you're just starting your, your home service business or you're, you know, you're struggling with it or just, um, you're just not where you want to be. Hey, let's talk. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what we're here for. Let's have a conversation. Hey, schedule your strategy call. All right. With a MDP success coach mm-hmm. and no pressure, no push. All right, we just want to have a little conversation. Going to find out a little bit more about, about your home service business and may, what's maybe standing in your way and then point you in the right direction. Yep. Okay. We can help out. That's right. Mm-hmm. So if you'd like to schedule that call, simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Yep. Call. And schedule your call. Okay. Okay. So five tried and tested side hustles for your plumbing business. What do you got? Okay. Well, here we're talking about, you know, what, what else you can do, you know, with your business. Um, uh, you know, to, to make more money. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, and part of this, I, I see this all the time. So I'm just going to say it. All right. You know, as we're starting out, you know, I, I see plumbers and they get, get into HVAC or, the, or HVAC now wants to get into plumbing, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. That, I, I don't see that. that I, I don't really have examples of that working mm-hmm. of hundreds. Especially in the very beginning, yeah. especially in the very beginning, or even, you know, if you grow to some big, you know, conglomerate, whatever, then, you know, and you're, you're, you know, well, 50 that, trucks or whatever. Well, that's the thing. You see, that's what these these big, you know, service organizations buy up these di- different things. So then there, there are those things all in one, one roof. Mm. But it is tough. Yes. I mean, I, I don't have any examples mm. of a little guy doing plumbing, HVAC, and electrical. Mm-hmm. Um, or even what kind of one of the things that get put in there um, is like re- remediation or whatever. Oh, Plumbers um, do a lot of re- yeah. remediation, right? Mm-hmm. I, I don't see where it just, it goes big. Um, now, they, you can survive and you're doing things and there's money, you know, there's always money to be made, right. you know, that kind of a thing. It's divided attention. But yes, which is what, you know, mm-hmm. you know, I know you like to, to quote our mentor, mm-hmm. one of our Roy mentors, yeah, mm-hmm. Rory Vaden, mm-hmm. that, what is it? Um, um, divided, no, it's not, it, not divided focus. It's um, right. uh, diluted yeah. focus gets go. you diluted results. Diluted right. focus gets you diluted results. Yes. So, and so that, that's a big example. So, uh, you know, so I'm not talking about doing those things. I'm talking about things you can do within. It's just easy. Okay. You know, it's kind of within a system. All, all right. right. So you ready? I'm ready. All right. Me. Five of these things. Mm-hmm. All right. Number one, <laughs> perform a pre-inspection. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perform a pre-inspection. If you're not doing that already, you should do it anyways. All right. It, it builds credibility. So, you know, what I'm talking about is, you know, you're there, therefore, I'll use a, you know, plumbing example, you know, some kind of tinkling sound at the toilet. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, you know, you take you to the toilet, you want to take a look at that. Well, we want to ask Mrs. Jones, Hey, you know, I, I need to, um, you know, check out your plumbing system here. You mind if I walk the house? Very important to do. Mm-hmm. want to ask permission because you don't know who else in the house or have right. her feeling like you're all over the house. Right. And right. don't you mostly mention, I mean, you're going to go and check every single toilet and every single faucet. Don't you n- basically mean to go and check the you know, main shutoff, the, uh, those types yeah, of Yeah, you're walking through mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. And the reason why this, this is a good side hustle, first of all, it's an important part of the sales process. And I'm going to talk sales here, mm-hmm. but there is a sales process. And those who have been listening and watching, though, and even within the academy itself and all, I'm not big. We have a sales module, whatever, but I'm mm-hmm. not talking about that, pushing okay. sales or whatever. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. But this is, this is an important part of that sales, and I'm using air quotes you know, for those who listen to podcasts. of the process. Maybe service process. It's ser- that's what we call it, the service mm-hmm. sales system. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but it builds um, a credibility with your customer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just like you go to the doctor and they check, if they didn't check your, your heart rate and your Mm -hmm. temperature and all that kind of stuff, you think they were quacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's so part of that. Right. Okay. And it does tell you about what's going on, but Mm -hmm. how this sets you up for a side hustle, which side hustles to make more money with your plumbing business 
is you will find something. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe all, you know, they don't have a um, accessible uh, main water shutoff valve, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you're not going to bring that to their attention right then and make them bundle that with, uh, we, no, no going, bundling. You know, all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it allows you then, after you take care of the situation that they are in, Okay, that, 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 that the they original called call. you out. Right. Mm -hmm. Now you can come back and say, hey, I have some options here for mm -hmm. um, you don't have a main in my inspection. You don't right. have a accessible main water shutoff valve. And so what that means is, you know, if, if your water bursts, where would you turn the water off? I don't know. Exactly. That's right. why you need this. And I think okay. one great service thing is ask the customer when you get there, when you ask, you know, you're there with Mrs. Jones and say, can you show me where your main shutoff is? If she's like, um, uh. I don't know, then that's a great service thing. And so then, then it's up to you, plumber, um, professional, right. right, to go and find it for them. And so you can say, hey, Mrs. Jones, I just want to show you because, yeah, if you ever need to shut off the house, you know, say you're the only one here and you need to shut off the water to the house. Here's where it's at. And then that, that will give you credibility as well that um, and even if there's nothing wrong with it, right? You're showing the customer where it's at. And that's just serving the customer well. Again, you're the plumbing professional in the house. So so show them something that's vitally important. And I'll bet, whoops, I'll bet 50% of homeowners don't know where don't. it is. Right. So, and I will, I will tell you, um, we had a plumbing <laughs> business for 18 years. We do this. I have... <laughs> I have no idea where our main shutoff is. I just, we've only lived here three years, but maybe you should know the answer to I, that I know question. where it's at. We're of got course you, you do. But if I get hit by a truck. <gasps> What's oh, going to happen? Right. I know. So after this week, we, oh. after we record this episode. I'm going to show you where the you're main. show me where the main shutoff okay. valve is. Wow. All right. <laughs> so that's, that's great service. But mm -hmm. do the inspection and you find these things. Mm -hmm. It allows you to come back after you've taken care of it. Don't, don't bring new stuff to the, the customer's mind because part of the sales process. And we'll talk, we're going to, I think we're going to, I think we have a, uh, an episode coming up where we're going to talk a little bit more sales kind of a thing, what, okay. what you don't need to do, Okay. but you don't with the customer's mind, they don't want to buy anyways. And so they don't even buy what they called you out for. All right. So we don't want to start throwing other stuff at them because right. uh, before they've opened their wallet, mm -hmm. before you've taken care of their initial problem, because exactly. uh, then they think of just selling you. But mm -hmm. after the fact, you can come back and introduce it. Mm -hmm. Great little side hustle. Side, you're making it part of the process. Mm -hmm. So not only is it a part, you know, it's, it's a positive part to add to your process because it builds credibility on the front end with helping with the original call. Mm -hmm. But there's always something that you can find to offer up on the right. come back with more. And and you know, um, we, we see that maybe 20, 30 percent of the customers will go with the add-on stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's 20, 30 percent. Right. You know, yep. a little, and that's the little side hustle. Mm -hmm. Things add up. Yes. You know? And again, we're not saying find something that doesn't exist in the customer's no. home. Of course not. Serve the customer well. If you, as the professional plumber, find something in the house and something is wrong, even if they didn't call you out for that, it really is your responsibility just as the professional in the house to let them know. And then it's, it's not hard hard sales. It's not hard push. But let them know, hey, this is an issue. Or do you know that you know the toilet, your your second toilet is leaking at the base or whatever it is, doesn't matter. Um, give them, arm them with that information just, just so they know and then they can make an informed decision. Well, I didn't want to go down this trail. No, no, no. I knew where you're going. But legally, you're responsible. <laughs> well, I don't know. So it's good I don't to find it. <laughs> I don't know because that's from an insurance standpoint. It's, it's a whole, yeah. We've done a couple episodes on yeah. on insurance and all that. But, but, you, but you can help cover your butt. Yes. By finding these things mm -hmm. because you can get the, the water heater could could go out, mm -hmm. and if you didn't offer a water heater, they found out you were in the house or whatever. You can be sued. Oh yeah. For, well, for the damage or whatever. <laughs> right. Right. Because it's insurance companies it's in, right. get involved. So. Yes. All right. Okay. So um, perform a, a pre-inspection. What else you got? There we go. Mm -hmm. Number two. All right. Mm -hmm. Suggest extended warranty. Mm -hmm. okay, how many times you bought something at you know, Walmart or Best Buy or something like that, you mm -hmm. know, some kind of, and it's always, you want the extended warranty with that? Mm -hmm. or, okay. Sometimes and, it, it makes a side sense. hustle. Right. It, it, they know, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I think I've turned down every kind of warranty. Mm -hmm. I'm I, trying I to don't think if we've ever bought an extended we're not, warranty. We're not warranty people. Mm -mm. And so even saying this, but it mm -hmm. works, um, again, the same similar kind of numbers, 20 to 30% of the people are. Mm -hmm. And that's why these companies offer that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just a side hustle that, that provides, you know, some kind of more protection service to the customer. And they just right. don't want to worry about it anymore. If they, right. if it's, you know, you're doing on a water heater, whatever it is, and it's, you know, extended warranty, maybe it's, you know, instead of six years, 10 years or whatever it might be. Some customers may want to do that. Don't think about how you, you do it right. or what you would do. Um, for, for your buying decisions, don't think about that. Um, you Again, you're the plumbing company, you're the professional, so offer things like an extended warranty and let them decide. And 
again, you're servicing the customer. Give them the option. You have a lifetime warranty. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, um, offer it to them. And if they say no, that's fine. But some people do like that um, that protection and that assurance. They're warranty people. Mm-hmm. Um, and you saw a lot of them wearing masks. I mean, so <laughs> there's, 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 there's How in people, the world? There's, there's, I know, I got to throw that in. <laughs> well, it's a, it's What's a, the correlation there? It's, it's a mental thing. They're, they're afraid of the future. They're afraid of what can happen. They're oh afraid of all that kind goodness. of stuff. That and so a stretch, well, people like, well, it's, it's a mental thing. Okay. I'm not saying that they're mental, but it is a mental thing. Okay. I can't wait for the comments on that one. All right. Okay. You know, so, well, the warranty is a good thing. You know, we, we offered a warranty on, mm-hmm. on labor. We all extended labor warranty another year, even though, again, that was a great example. We're not warranty people, mm-hmm. but there are some people that do want to know. Mm-hmm. They just want more you know, more protection. They don't, you know, they have fear that this could go out. You know, we offered what came with our service, a year warranty. Mm-hmm. Well, we offer an additional year warranty that mm-hmm. they, they could purchase on, on labor, labor, the labor. Right. All right. Some people bought it. 20, 30% of people bought it. Right. Okay. And it, it adds up. Yes. Okay. And I can't think of the times we really had to use it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's one of the Try warnings, to- one, one of those things mm-hmm. that just, it's rare. I mean, right. if you do, I'm sure I mean, we did, but there wasn't where we can look a, back and go, oh, really that cute. was a that was a big mistake, right? Mm-hmm. You know, the only thing I would would caution when you do the warranty is to keep track of it of your customers that you have a system that the warranty is able to um, be uh, measured because when you go to sell your business, that right. is one of the things they yes. like to know what what's what are we at risk at, right? You know, for and well, yeah, what are the different thing. warranty programs or yeah. whatever or warranties that are out out. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. And another thing we did, the way I did the warranty, and this made us a lot of money, was a water heater warranty. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, you know, with the water heater companies, you know, you have a six-year, okay, and, and a 10-year. And if you buy a 10-year water heater, you're buying their warranty. And I didn't buy their warranty, their mm-hmm. insurance, mm-hmm. okay. I just charged for half again another water heater mm-hmm. for the material cost, you know, the material cost. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just said it's a 10-year. 10-year warranty. Water, in your warranty water heater. Mm-hmm. And by the way, on that, it was what we call a peace of mind, full mm-hmm. peace of mind warranty, meaning uh, we covered the components and everything right. for six and 10 years and the labor as well. Mm-hmm. It wasn't, you know, you know, with water heaters, it's going to be six years on a tank and then a year, two years or whatever on, on the component, components. Mm-hmm. But we just would cover it all. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't, I can't think of any time where it just it became obvious that we were losing that. In fact, no. I mean, it just, Customers just liked right. it. They, they liked right. that, that peace of mind. So, um, again, offer it. Don't, don't force someone or don't, you know, push it, but offer it. And some people may be like, oh, man, that's, I, really, I really like that. I like, I like that type of thing, and they'll buy. And, again, you're servicing the customer. You're not, it's not high-pressure sales. It's not, you know, you only offer them this or whatever. Give them the option and let them make their, their informed decision. That works best for them. Exactly, exactly. In fact, you mentioned offer. Hey, for joining us here, I have something to offer you. Check it out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I give to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. All right. Welcome back. All right. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that a good offer? All right. You grab it? Hope okay. so. You should. Okay. You it's should. free. All right. Take <laughs> take advantage of as much as free stuff as you can get. Yes. Because it's rare. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. Um, yeah. Yes. And do take advan- advantage of that free offer. But also, what we would really love is if you gave us a great review, whatever podcast player that you're listening to or out on YouTube. Love to, to hear um, you know, what you think of Potty Talk. Of course, only good comments are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding um but yeah give us a thumbs up give us a like um get notified when um, a new episode drops for sure also want to make mention we do have um, a new podcast that was introduced just a few weeks ago the coach's corner uh, matt baldwin and tony wally who are coaches for mdp yeah, they just launched their own podcast under the mdp um label and it's all within our youtube channel um called the coach's corner and can really get great information from those two who still own their plumbing businesses, um, grew up from, you know, small, all the things, went through the MDP program, and now are amazing coaches for us. So check out the Coaches Corner as well. Tons of nuggets of gold they're uh-huh. dropping. In fact, I found my, you know, I was just, just um, listening to since it's all new and just keeping track of it. 
Um, I got to see one of the productions that they, they came out of post production mm -hmm. of it, and and I caught myself listening. I should have been doing other stuff, but I listened to the whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they just sucked you right. They sucked in. me right good, in. It was I fun. It was a banner. You're just yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so it, good, good it's guys. Good. Check them out. Check yes. them out. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we have. You know, we're talking about side hustle. Mm -hmm. You know what 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 other things that we can do with with our with our home service business, mm -hmm. okay, that uh, that we can make uh, you know, a little bit more money, okay, these little side hustles. We talked about performing pre-inspection, uh, suggested extended warranties, offering extended warranties. Mm -hmm. Number three, mm -hmm. offer a VIP program, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. You know, some will consider this like a maintenance program, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. First of all, you should be doing that kind of a, you know, offering that anyways. And it's not to take care of the equipment. You know, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, because it's about, you know, plumbing, all right. It ain't, about it ain't about the plumbing. All right. It's just about giving the customer, you know, a peace of mind. Really, you know, a VIP program is, again, is another sales tool. Mm -hmm. All right. Because in it, you're providing, you know, special costs or special savings. Like that. that's the main thing right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber or you HVAC dudes or Sparkies or whatever you are. I mean, no, no. one wants, okay. Um, and no one wants to spend money with us, mm -hmm. okay? So even though they called us, which is the plus, they're already sold, they still want to say no, okay? So, you know, it's always more expensive. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. 40 years. Again, I'm in my 40th year. I've heard. Oh, I'm still selling my 40th year in the trades here, mm -hmm. okay? And it's always been more ex too expensive. Because we don't, who, wants, who wants to spend money on that? I remember when I started, <laughs> we could, you could get a 50-gallon um, ga gas water heater installed for $325. <laughs> and we were doing them and making money. Mm -hmm. Well, and you back, me, back in when we, you know. Oh, the beginning of Attaboy? Yeah, we were, yeah we were, no, not oh. Attaboy. Back when I started with, with oh. correct plumbing. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't remember being yeah. that low. Okay, back yeah. way, way, way back. Right. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. 83, mm. thereabouts, whatever. Okay, you started right. working there when you were four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So it's mm. it's always been way, way, mm. you know, more expensive than you know what. what? Instead, so, instead of saying calling it a sales tool, it really is a service tool. It really is. Well, um, I say sales tool because I if I say service tool, well, because the guys think, well, I need sales training. I need to, it needs to be about sales. It's his sales. Right. So it's like, I'm, I know I thought right. it because it really is about serving. If you just right. service, service the, the customer. The customer is already, when they call you, they're already sold. They already need whatever they've called you out for. Right. They're not so. calling for a price or calling because they, you know, just want to call. They're lonely <laughs> and you know, want a, you know, plumber or, you know, at their house mm -hmm. or some HVAC tech at their house or. They do not. You know, or want you to come in there and fix their light switch or what. I mean. Mm -hmm. It needs to be done. Right. Exactly. Right. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it is, they're already sold. So right. it is it's serving. So, mm -hmm. you know, a VIP program is providing a service because mm -hmm. you're going to give them a discount, which is what they're going to be attracted to because mm -hmm. anybody in time can save money. And it's a credible reason to save money. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. and of course, those of you who went through the academy know how the, the really everyone's paying for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we, we talk about that. Right. How All to right. build it into your cost. Right. Okay. But it, it, you know, you're going to provide a savings, but then you're also going to provide, um, you know, uh, uh, VIP, you know, uh, they get that gone it. What's I the word? Wrong word. Like okay. when? Okay, they, they, they get preferred. Preferred. Preferred scheduling. <laughs> words. Okay. Words. <laughs> words. Use my words. <laughs> preferred scheduling. Right. So they move to the front of the line. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be doing things. And this is the key. This is this is a side hustle. So not only helps on the front end. You're like performing an inspection or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. Building credibility and serving and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But it gets with this. It gets you back in the house because you're going to offer you know water heater flush or right. an equipment check of somehow. Mm -hmm. You know one. Once, twice a year. I did it twice a year. You think, well, you know, only doing it once a year. If you're only paying this much or whatever mm -hmm. for it, whatever. Okay. Um, it should only be, you know, anyways. Mm -hmm. I, would, I did it twice, twice, twice a year because it gets you in the house. Right. Gets you right? Back in That's the, house. the key. And also right? you're servicing their water heater. Right. Right. Because what homeowner really takes the time to drain and flush their water heater? Very, 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 very few. Right. right? And so service take care of their water heaters, service their water heaters are going out twice and, and doing a drain and flush and just, to, you know, checking it out, making sure things are, are working. That's serving the customer. Right. And then also checking out other things that are there. You're serving the customer. Well, we're going to do another inspection. Mm -hmm. Included it was, a, is, is the, in our case, case was a plumbing inspection. You do equipment inspection. Mm -hmm. We always found something. Because there is always something. There is always something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they haven't, you know, in case of the plumbing side, I mean, it's easy stuff. You know, re, how important is to reset your toilets? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, replacing, uh, emer you know, emergency stops because, they, you know, they get limed up. They start, mm -hmm. you know, you go to turn, they're, you know, they're, they're limed up and mm -hmm. leak or whatever and are hard to turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
um, those kinds of things, supplies, mm -hmm. you know, they're simple things, but you know, nine times out of 10, we even found, you know, larger things. Okay. This or that leaking. Okay. Um, toilet, not toilet running, just weren't aware of it. You know, that, mm -hmm. that those kinds of things. And now again, you know, you, you offer these things up, you know, and you pick one, by the way, make mm -hmm. it weird, but you pick one. You can't, you can't bundle stuff all together. And of course mm -hmm. we get at this, mm -hmm. in, in, you know, the system or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's, Finding qualified technicians, office staff, and management when you need them can be a lot like looking for a needle in a haystack. That's why there's Work With Your Hands, the home service recruiting experts. Work With Your Hands offers personalized services with guarantees on new hires, fast onboarding, candidate vetting, weekly check-ins, and much more. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash hands. That's hands with a Z. Start building your team today. Um, you know, only about 20, 30% again will, mm -hmm. will go with what you offer. But again, 20, 30%. And the customer okay. then is now informed, right? Yes. You have all the information. They have information that, you know, some of these things might need to be addressed in the in the near future. Maybe there's nothing that needs to be addressed that very day. Um, but it may be some things that do need to be addressed, you know, in the relatively near future. And the customer can make a decision. You know, that's not my budget right now. But um, here in about two or three months, you know, I'll, I'll have a call and have you back out. So. Yeah. Yes. Well, I know I'm kind of stuck. There is so much to each one of these. Mm -hmm. you know, I put it in the, the five things, which are, you know, very important, you know, side hustles, easy mm -hmm. things. But there's so much to each one of these. Right. I mean, these are each are classes mm -hmm. within the Success Academy. Yes, they are. I mean, it mm -hmm. could be their own, certainly a podcast mm -hmm. talking about each one of these. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm kind of like, what's the least amount I could, you know, what can I say about these things right. without going on and on? <laughs> that happened in a podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, so very, that having a VIP program is very mm -hmm. important. And yes. it, 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 Racks it up. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. people, you know, it's additional money. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Next, number four, partner with affiliates. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That kind of, you know, I mentioned re remediation. A lot of guys when they're starting out or, you know, want to add something to the, you know, another company, they start re remediation like with plumbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or they bring on the HVAC or, you know, that kind of a thing. Right. That's great. Instead of becoming a, a mediator mm -hmm. or, you know, if you're a plumber, you know, you know, getting a guy's license to do H, HVAC or whatever, uh, or even if you're, you know, to do mm -hmm. both. Right. You know, it's just so, it's so hard. Okay. Uh, have a, an affiliate partnership. Mm -hmm. So like we had like with remediation company, mm -hmm. you know, and there's, you guys know you've been hit up with this remediation companies right. where they give you spiffs and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, you can do that. Partner with one. And you'll give them everything mm -hmm. and get a bigger spiff. Right. Okay. Um, then, even, even you can get bonus percentage of the work, depending on kind of, you know, the stuff you can do. Right. And it is kind of on a, a trust level or whatever. Mm -hmm. Don't make it a contract and all yeah, that don't, kind of yeah, stuff. Don't make it where you like, I'm writing down every single time I refer somebody and following up. Yeah. It's right. just, no. A good partnership. They're going to want to give you money and make right. sure you get paid or whatever. Yes. Cause they want to keep you cause you're, you're, you're sending stuff their way and you're mm -hmm. going to continue, you know, if your guy, and I would like remediation, I, the guys, I gave my guys everything. Right. We didn't keep the spiffs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So our guys were offering yeah. because they made, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I remember, I mean, in a month, it could be a couple thousand dollars yeah. these guys were making. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a lot of money, gang, right. for a guy to make a, another additional couple thousand dollars. Right. Um, now, that, that helps keep them on to your organization, mm -hmm. you know, keep, keep them on board. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember seeing some of those checks are it was like, well, I'd want to Dang. do that. I mean, because I took it with all your guys kind of <laughs> making mm -hmm. me. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe get a little piece of that. Mm -hmm. Now, the other one that we did that we did kind of uh, was uh, HVAC. We had a, a company that we referred right. instead of starting. Because we looked at that. Mm -hmm. you know, I did the studies, and I couldn't find um, – I saw – I couldn't find little guys, like medium sized guys, you know, little guys, medium sized guys like mine that, mm -hmm. that became were very successful at it. Right. Um, doing both. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we, again, you see the big organizations because then they're buying, I mean, they're buying that stuff and trying right. to put it together. And by the way, notice how, I mean, at least I did, how some of these big organizations had sold off there because mm -hmm. it is so hard yeah. to, to run all those things under one roof. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know it makes sense at all trades, but they're different you kinds think, of. You right. think it makes sense. Right. But it okay. does not. It's mm -hmm. just tough. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So partnering with, with another relatively, you know, small HVAC company yes. the size of yours and just trade work back and forth. Right. Um, and then, yeah, you can um, ask for different spiffs. Or if I give you a referral, you know, we pay me this much. Or if they give you a referral, pay them that much or whatever it is. Right. Um, but once again, you're serving the customer well, because if you've got a, a customer who in your plumbing company, you've got a customer that really trusts you and they ask ask you why my water heater, not my water here. I'm sorry. My heater furnace needs to be serviced or my AC unit or whatever it is that you're able to 
recommend someone that you trust. Don't just partner with anybody. Trust, you know, partner with someone that you know yeah. in the community um, and you trust and you know that that does good work. Um, and then you can tell your customer, hey, Mrs. Jones, yeah, we don't do any HVAC, but um, I've got a relationship with, you know, ABC company. And, and we set it up right then. If we were there, right. we, yes. set, we, we set it up right then. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Mm -hmm. So instead of making them go through, jump through the hoops and mm -hmm. call or whatever, um, you know, I'm thinking of examples. We, you know, we take calls. How many times have we got on calls where they thought it was their, their softener or their water heater was even leaking? My water heater's leaking. And of course, you know, a lot of our situations, the water heater's right next to the, you know, the HVAC equipment, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And we basically it was stopped up or something like that was going on. Mm -hmm. Well, our tech would immediately let Mr. Jones know. And so this is who we recommend. In mm -hmm. fact, I can, I can call him right now and get you on a schedule today. Right. So mm -hmm. that was key too. Part of our relationship is if we did send something today, that they would make us priority. Mm -hmm. Get us, you know, our, right. right. Our customer, yeah, you're yeah. the customer in. So, yep. all right. So that was all part of establishing that relationship. Okay. Okay. But partnering with affiliates, mm -hmm. I mean, and those dollars add up. I mean, you just come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's an easy kind of a thing to put into your system. Right. It doesn't cost you anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then finally... All right. Mm. And this is the biggie. Mine, your email list. Well, I don't have an email should list. should have an email list. Okay. <laughs> I, I sure okay. hope there's anybody, somebody out there that doesn't say, well, gosh, we don't have an email list. Especially today. We think, well, email's not mean. I know it's not you, way more. Email list. It, period. That's the only thing that you truly kind of own when the customer, you pay for all this marketing. Yep. It costs you one, even, even if you're not advertising, it still mm. costs you in the time Yes. Of just being running your business to get that customer to call you. Yes. So it's, uh, and as for the, as for the email address during in the phone call, right? right? So, you know, whoever's answering their phone, make sure they ask, you know, name, address, um, an email address and just let them know, you know, we, we, um, send all, all paperwork via email electronically, you know, your receipt, your work order, whatever it might be. Um, we'll send that to you electronically. 99% of the people are going to give you the email address because it's just common. It's yes. commonplace right now. Um, not back in our day. I remember we kind of had to educate the customer just when emails were starting to come out. Right. <laughs> sorry. I mean, it's old. Oh, is that you? I know. That's, right. that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Yeah. Um, you know, we, cause people were hesitant know. back then, you know, well, you're going to, they didn't say spam. You're just going to send me a bunch of stuff or whatever. Yeah. The just, word spam wasn't, wasn't even out. I don't think it was. That wasn't even kind of thing. <laughs> but why do you want my email address? Because that was so personal. Yeah, it was so personal. Now it's, yeah. it's whatever. So anyway, make sure you get the email address. And there are different ways that you can um, send out um, things to the customer via email, monthly newsletter. Well, that's right. A monthly newsletter mm -hmm. uh, where you're hitting, you know, and you can make it easy. In fact, it's uh, now with AI. So <laughs> I, so I was just you can write say, your own. I mean, just you'd have something of just a, a do it yourself or repair kind of a thing, or just mm -hmm. how to do. Doesn't get, they're not going to pay pay that much attention. Right, to it. they're not going to mm -hmm. do that. No. It's just another chance for you to be in there in, in front of them, land so in you, their inbox. So you want something that, that gives them some information, even something going on in the community. Okay, mm -hmm. again, that's easy to find out. You know what's going on in our community this month. Mm -hmm. All right. And it just needs to be like a one page thing, one right? Page, right? A page, mm -hmm. and then some kind of special for the month. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can give a special. Well, people just getting that kind of stuff. Does. Again, it's just, it's, you're just landing in their inbox. It's top of mind. Right. Um, and with ChatGPT, guys, truly, if you're not using ChatGPT, learn it. Okay. And it's not hard to learn. Um, you literally could go into ChatGPT. You know, this is the name of my plumbing business. I'm located here. Here's, here's the things, you know, service that I do. Write a monthly newsletter for me that includes, um, you know, a, a, a tip, a plumbing tip, um, an interesting story, whatever. And then chat <laughs> literally will spit out an entire newsletter for you. It'll, it'll give you suggestions on what kind of, you know, picture to put along with it or whatever right. it might Find be. Find a picture. And right. then go uh, and get something like MailChimp. MailChimp is um, uh, an email, um, I think it's called an autoresponder, but we, you, and it's free up to, I think, 2,500 um, emails in it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but they've got templates in there um, already designed for you that all you have to do then is just plug and play and it, it, it'll send out emails to all your customers. You don't want to send it out through your Gmail because, you know, don't, don't, well, I've got a hundred, got a hundred customers. Let me just try to send it through Gmail. Mm -hmm. You are going to get banned from Gmail for sure. And they won't go out. So yeah. you do need to have some sort of um, mails, email service like a MailChimp. And that's just one that we used in the beginning. That's super easy, super easy to use. Right. And if it's just an, e you know, Again, where you're not hitting them up, right? Hitting them up for something, mm -hmm. you know, give them some, you know, um, seasonal kind of stuff, 
like, uh, hey, you know, as we're recording this, we're going into springtime. So back in Indy, we'd be talking about, hey, does your sump pump work? Mm-hmm. Make oh, sure because the, rain, cause, cause the rains are coming. Right. And so just, just to check so you don't, your basement doesn't get flooded. Mm-hmm. All right. Because we're getting into rainy season. Right. It's the spring here. Mm-hmm. And so, hey, just check well, your, here's, and, here's how you can check up your, um, check out if your sump pump's working. And then we would offer... Mm-hmm. You know, down below would be something associated, this, you know, discount would be associated with right. that. Yep. Right. Or a hose picket. I mean, that was, that was right. the most popular, you know, the water's been turned off or the hose picket outside, you know, it's been off. Somebody probably left their hose on or whatever it might or be. It late and it froze. Mm-hmm. Right. And then they go out to water the flowers for the first time in the spring. And I, I distinctly remember this one customer and this very thing happened because I just felt so bad. She turned on the water, was outside, you know, three or four hours, just watering the flowers, just enjoying the spring, Mm -hmm. and it's indie, you know, it finally feels like winter's over, and she comes inside, and her house is 100% flooded. I mean, the the kitchen, kitchen, yeah, it was uh, a big family room, everything, everything, and it was just, it was sickening. I mean, and then all the the mold stuff, you know, to be worried about going up the drywall, and uh. so anyway... so in your newsletter, it, and it's, it, it really is you know, a simple thing to do. You don't have to make it complicated. Right. Okay. And today it is so easy. But again, a great side hustle to at least work on a little bit and get out there because it will, you know, the return is, is so good. Yes. All right. Because mm-hmm. with that, um, you know, working your email list that way, um, just weekly special, having that email list. And as it grows, mm-hmm. you know, one, well, my favorite thing to do, and we do, you know, everyone, we have these dead days. Mm-hmm. And my dead days would normally turn into them being busy. Um, because by the time you grow an email list of literally thousands, all right, and you know, I would send out, I had a picture of all my guys in our in our tech room mm-hmm. sleeping, you know, pretending in, in to di- sleep, pretending to sleep in different positions, you know, back and you know on the <laughs> table, you know, all this kind of stuff, and it made, so it looked funny, mm-hmm. you know, it was obviously it was a setup, okay, mm-hmm. and I said. Um, we have no work today. Please put my guys to work. Right. Get them or out it, of the shop. Or it's, at, it was, yeah. it's an abnormally slow day here at yeah, Attaboy like Plumbing. That, right. Yeah. Um, please put my guys to work. 15% off any work scheduled um, for today or, or for this week or whatever right. it might be. Well, when you have thousands mm-hmm. and, you know, and, you know, one, three, five percent, all Calling. of a sudden take you up on that. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, I mean, then we have more calls than we can handle. Now right. we have that problem. Okay. That, guys, that's an easy one yeah. to do. That's an easy one to do. And right. it, okay, say you don't have guys, right? So you don't have a picture for, you know, guys sleeping in the shop, right? Then just. get a funny picture. Yeah, just, yeah, funny picture. Of a just, cat, you know, you know, you know how cats, are, you know, I don't know. Sleeping not, not, or Sleeping, something. you know, mm-hmm. on a back hanging, you know. Yeah, just some sort of funny picture. On that, a rope or something. That, yeah, that something. grabs their attention and just say it's right. an abnormally slow day here at, you know, whatever name of your company is. Um Take advantage, take advantage here. I'm, right. I'm riffing here. Take advantage of a abnormally slow day here at Attaboy Plumbing, 15% um, off any work scheduled for this week. Right. And then make sure you put your phone number on there. For heaven's sakes, put your phone number on there. Nice and big. Don't don't put it like in somewhere lost in the text or whatever. The phone number needs to be really big. With a link right. to your website, which hopefully is branded well as well. So, yep. Okay. Yep. So, okay. I mean, so it is, and that bring, it brings it in. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, I mean, that's a simple side hustle you can be doing. Right. And sadly, you know, we talk to the guys, companies all the time that really don't do, are doing any of these things. Mm-hmm. Pick uh, one. I mean, right. <laughs> Pick one for now, just to start. Yeah. Um, cause and, yeah, cause that is just, again, it's, it's serving your customer well, even with the newsletter and stuff, that's still serving your customer really well. Um, and it's, it's top of mind, all the things. So, you know, pick one of these and, and start with, um, just, a little, every little bit helps, right? Yeah. So. so, yeah. Hey, if you want to know more about, you know, what, what we just went over here and you struggle with these kinds of things and just getting pointed in the right direction, um, let's talk. Okay. Again. All right. You know, find, you know, schedule your strategy call. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we'll get you pointed in the right direction. It's easy call. Again, just want to find out more about where you're at, hear what is holding you back and then point you in the right direction. It's easy as one, two, three. Okay. Bada boom, bada bang. Bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Mm-hmm. Schedule your strategy call. So okay. there we go. Good stuff here. Yeah. Oh man, all this could be, man, each one of these should be a, a podcast. Know. We can go because all these are great things. Guys, these are easy things to do. Do That's it. That's right. Go do great, it. It's great side hustles. Okay. All right. Hey, before you go starting to do those side hustles, <laughs> okay, before I let you go, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.